So my name is Lee Williamson. Uh, I live on the Isle of Man, which is a small self-governed nation in the middle of the Irish Sea. I'm currently working as an information security officer for a company called EIP Limited, which is a software development house which um, delivers cutting edge SaaS products to the insure tech business globally. My role is actually centered around keeping the company safe and also our customers data safe while ensuring we comply to any international laws um, on data protection and also to continue being certified in the ISO 27001 standard. I'm very aware of the EC Council uh, via its highly popular security certifications and at the time I had a choice um, of which program to do. Um, I decided that because my main role for, for many of the companies I was working with was network defense, that I would take the Certified Network Defender Program. Customers understand that the, the person in front of them who's consulting them on security is, is, is certified in network security and is able to help them best defend themselves against cyber threats and what proactive steps they should be taking to mitigate any risks that they faced. The program itself is, is, I would say, is very comprehensive. It covers both logical security and physical security defenses down to types of locks which are in use. In terms of career, it's an excellent certification to have um, because it's demonstrating a broad knowledge in network defense, which is something that companies really are looking out for in these uncertain times. There's many tools and, and many topics. Um, my go-to tool has always been Wireshark. Because if you really want to understand um, what's happening on your network and the, and the traffic that's, that's going between machines, it's a great place to start. That being said, all of the tools on the course will be useful um, or a good reference for you in the security role. And in terms of topics, monitoring, I think, is the one which stands out the most, um, as well as instant handling and response, something the companies need to be proactively able to deal with. And that all fits nicely uh, with ISO 27001 guidance. I would say that everything on the course is important to learn, understand, and to use that learning to put into action. Partner of EC Council, um, which was which was Firebrand training in the UK, and they do a lot of the um, EC Council courses. The instruction was excellent there. Um, the courseware was very comprehensive. I mean, there was a pile of books like this um, that you get as part of the course. Um, the added benefit of doing a course like that is obviously you interact with different kinds of students um, from different walks of life and that included on the course I was on IT managers and even um, police departments and, and the cyber teams that investigate uh, cyber crime. So that was very good. This is, you just have to look in the press or on the internet to see the kinds of breaches which are happening on a daily basis, the amount of cost and fines that companies are having. And this is, is growing the job market, so information security roles are everywhere now and there is a global shortage and that is going to continue, uh, I think something like 2 million in the next couple of years will be you know, unfilled positions. So now is the perfect time for traditional IT managers, traditional network admins to start looking at network security, how that can benefit their current role, how that can benefit their career. And how they can you know how they can help the organizations they're working for becoming more risk aware will help them design secure networks um, and that becomes a, an important topic now that many businesses are moving to the cloud so traditional networking is disappearing traditional it administration is disappearing and with these new technologies comes new challenges and new security you can put in place and you don't have traditionally so I would say that is the final point, is to consider your current role. Is it going to be around in two years? Is it going to be around five years? Now is the time to look at information security because there are many, many unfilled roles globally and that is where companies are going to need help in the next few years, especially in these uncertain times.